Hey guys, me too. Um, so this is just going to be a quick episode on how I arrived at those helper functions from the previous episode. Um, if you didn't see it, it was just about getting the HMD well position. Um, so I'm going to show you what it's like when you don't set up the um, Unreal prop properly and what it is when you do. So I have a window of 4.10 here and 4.11. Um, as the versions of Unreal have kind of progressed, it's become easier and easier to set this up. Uh, but pre 4.8 ish it was a lot harder because you need to do some maths and all that to get it working properly um, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like when it's not set up correctly and then what it is uh, so I'm just going to launch a VR game here and if I move the rift back you'll see this pink circle here this is what Unreal is saying the HMD position is which is obviously incorrect because it's I move it and it's not translating with the rift um, so I'll just show you the nodes there to get that. Um, so it's just a debug circle drawn at the camera location and the camera location obviously isn't correct. So to fix this and to fix a lot of bugs in pre-411 is um, you need to set up a follow HMD orientation and so to do that we need three things. First we need player controller, I'm just going to name it PC. We need a game mode, GM, and we need a player camera manager. So I'm just going to have to search for that. Uh, camera manager out the box. I'm just going to call that PCM. Cool. And so first things we need is the camera manager needs to follow HMD orientation. Now this will also follow HMD, HMD location as well. Um, as of uh, maybe 4.8, uh, maybe 4.7. Anyway, now it follows HMD uh, position and orientation so it works with the DK2 properly which is just good to know and then in the player controller we need to say we want to use that player um, camera manager so in player camera manager class we set that up cool and then in game mode we just need to use that player control so if we go back into blueprints and we tell it to use that game mode we just created here we go and now i shouldn't be able to see that circle because i've set everything up properly so if i play and you see i can see that circle below me but as i move the circle will move with me which is what we want so now everything works properly and so to get that helper function basically all you need to do is create a new and then Anytime you want to get the HMD well position, all you need to do is get the camera manager and then get the camera location and you're good to go. Um, as for the forward vector, it's, it's as simple, you just get, get forward vector and same thing. So these both should work properly now, which is nice. Now for 4.11, uh, it's a little bit different. So if I create a camera manager and we go into it you'll see that there is no tick box for um, follow HMD orientation um, that's because they've actually refactored the how the um, HMD cameras work and it's no longer in the camera manager to do that which is actually good for us because it's easy to set up so all we'll need is one blueprint here and that's a new form so we set that up and here, if we look into it, we see nothing has changed um, and it's basically the same, but oh, quickly I'll show you as well. If I just play this one, um, we get the same problem as before, where if I move the rift backwards, you'll see it's a green circle just because just I changed the color, but um, you'll see it's still the same case where it's not updating appropriately. So to fix that in 4.11, open the full editor and I add just a camera component everything from the player camera manager has been moved into the camera component itself so if you look into camera here lock to HMD is true which is basically the same as saying follow HMD orientation and position which is what we want so if I go back oh and quick tip um, if you don't want to set up a game mode and quickly for testing you can just drop a um, pawns directly into level and then if I go into its settings, auto possess and player zero, which will just be for testing. And this should work. 
and so I have set this here. Now if I play again, we'll see if I look down the green circle and everything is moving correctly just like it should, which is neat. Um, quick thing, there's one uh, bug in Brawler, not bug, I, I'm not sure if it's a bug, but it's one thing to uh, take note of is this camera will always uh, reset itself at begin play to the origin of its parent. So say here, if I move this camera upwards, say 100 centimeters, go down and then reset the um, actual location into the ground. If I come here and click play, at begin play, you see the camera's in the ground. Now to fix this, what I've done, and uh, just a quick fix, is just grab a scene component and then chuck it in as the child of that. And then reset this camera to zero. And then just pull this one up 100 units. Now we see if we click play, it reset it above the ground 100 units to its parent um, component which is cool. Um, and so same thing applies if you want to get the HMG position, now you can just get the camera manager or even the camera itself, um, but camera manager should be fine. Camera location and then get forward vector. And that's how you get the both the camera location, camera location and forward vector. Um, if you're using pre 4.7 or uh, this um, player camera manager uh, um, HMG orientation is not what you want and you don't want it to be um, a separate view, a separate rotation, then uh, let me know and I can give you the math to do it without the player camera manager. But um, if you just want a simpler solution, do this setup and everything should work fine. Until next time, thanks.